A really good customer of mine just brought in this Still FS45 Weed Eater curve shaft trimmer. And he brought in this line head right here. He specifically wanted this line head put on there because uh, it's a easy, you know, you just take those lines out. You don't have to wind anything. He specifically wanted that on there. And I showed him, I put that on there just like that. And I said, there's absolutely no way to make this work on this curved shaft weed eater. It only works on a straight shaft one. He said, well, I'm gonna throw that in the garbage and I'm gonna go buy a straight shaft weed eater. I said, well, hold on a second. I just might happen to have a straight shaft kicking around in my shop right here from an FS55 still weed eater that is easily interchangeable onto that, uh, onto that motor right there, easy to swap, and then that does work on the straight shafts. He said, giddy up, give you a case of beer. I said, done deal. Let's do it right now. Welcome back to Steve Small Landing Saloon, guys. Dot com right there, my website. Check it out when you get a chance. For doing this, you guys, it is so ridiculously easy. Uh, you know what? This is like a half of your job at the most. You don't even need to take any screws or bolts out of this thing. You do need to loosen five bolts. Here's what we do to get this shaft out. You loosen these four bolts right up by the trigger. And then down here, you're gonna see these three bolts right here. Now this is important. You loosen those two off right there too. Now, even, those, even though those are loose right now, you're gonna see now it, it wiggles, right? But there's still something locking it in. This is really important. That's this center screw right here. It's a short screw that goes right in to the hole in the shaft. To it's kind of a, like a locator pin. You unscrew that, you don't even need to take it out. It's pretty short, loosen it off quite a bit. Now watch this. There you go, now it's, it's out of that hole. Pull that right out. That's the hole that screw was in right there. That's your locating hole. So remember that for when we put the, the straight shaft one on. Take that one right there, do whatever you want with it. Now, easy as this, the shaft is exactly the same here, but obviously it's a straight shaft. We do the same thing. Now, this is super important, you guys. You have to have this in all the way. That same locating screw right there, get it centered and, and lined up like you think it should be, and then just start lightly screwing that in. If you feel any resistance there, it might not be in the hole, so keep wiggling this. Oh, there, it just locked in, see that? I can't pull it out. I can just wiggle it a little bit like that. That means that that screw, that locating screw right there, is actually in that hole. It still wiggles a little bit, right? You just gotta tighten up those other four screws now, nice and tight. And that is as simple as that. That's done. That shaft is changed on there. It's done. Now, this line head that he wanted put on there will go, back, will go on this straight shaft right here. Just in case you guys are interested, here's how you do it. Make sure that that little washer thing right there is on there. And then your J spacer goes on there. Take that triangle, it's a 10 millimeter triangle kind of shaped thing here. It goes in from the inside of that line head. You pop that in until it's seated down like that. That goes on next. And then there's a big washer that goes on there too. Put that on. So your nut doesn't 
destroy that plastic. And then it, remember, it's a left hand nut now you're putting on there. In this case, it's color coded. You can see these nuts right here. Look at this. They're all color coded when you get that, that line head. It's kind of a universal line head, so it gives you a whole bunch of parts you don't need. All color coded like that. It's the black one you need for this model. Left hand thread, you screw that the opposite way you think. And it's, a, I believe it's a 17 millimeter. Yeah, 17 millimeter. And screw that thing on, hold that line head. You screw that down, nice and tight. I'm not giving you any torque specs or anything on that. That's snug and boom. That absolutely works perfectly. Look at that. We now have a straight shaft weed eater converted from a curved shaft right there. That's gonna work for him. He's gonna be super happy with this. And what did that take us? That took all of, I mean, that was under 10 minutes to do that. I'm just showing you that that can be done in case anybody's interested. I thought that would be a nice quick video for you guys. Give me that thumbs up button. Put some comments down under here. Subscribe to my channel. Share this with your friends if you want to. That was pretty easy. Not even half a beer, like I told you. That was like one sip. Damn, I'm way behind. <laughs> Till the next video, guys. Steve out.